What's good, everybody? The Nog Father is here. Sean, Puffy, P. Diddy, Puff Daddy Combs. My man, my man. This is what's going down right now. I'm going to be honest with you. The FBI can't get you in nothing. The police can't get, get you in nothing. The investigators can't get you on nothing. So what they doing right now is they using the divide and conquer technique against you. Something the FBI has specialized and always had a high average in winning at this game. But they doing it a more modern way. They using the internet to divide and conquer you. Means they can't bring you up on 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 no charges. Somebody wants you out of there. You know what I'm saying? Somebody wants you out of there, and that somebody might been somebody who could have got tried there years ago. They had to take a back seat. They got paid off, or they just didn't have no facts. Probably because nothing was done, or even if something was done, they just didn't have no facts. So what they doing is they tried everything. They tried tape recording. They tried everything. You don't know. Somebody real close to you could have been like, Sean, you uh, remember that time you so-and-so and so-and-so and this and that happened to that guy? And you probably was like, oh, I don't know what, you, what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Because they feel like you're not going to answer to anybody in conversation. Somebody can have a damn wire stuck up there and you know what. You know what I'm saying? Sean, you remember that time when this and that happened? But see, what they doing is now, maybe they couldn't get you confessing in the most sneakiest ways. Telephone, wiretap, anything in the car. You could have been in the car. You could have confessed to 20 crimes. You didn't do it. So what they doing now is they're using the divide and conquer techniques in a more modern way. They're using the internet to come at you so many ways. They're trying to break you. And, and in my opinion, they're going to find out they can't break you that way either. They might anger, anger you because it has to upset people that don't want any part of their life being displayed in a negative light the way they're trying to do you right now, including with the, you know, quote unquote, allegedly homosexual um, accusations. I mean, if it's true, it's true. You know what I'm saying? If there was homosexuality involved in your parties and stuff like that, if it's true, it's true. They can't arrest you for that. It's not a crime. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of people on Love Faggle Faggle Rock. You know what I'm saying? And they hipsy dipsy diving, having a good time up there on Planet Faggot Rock, but that's not a situation I would rather be involved in. No, thank you. Let's get back on to the story. But what they're trying to do, they're trying to break you. They're trying to anger you. They're trying to rattle you. So they're sending different people from different directions at you now. Everybody coming at you at one time. Puffy did this. Diddy, Diddy did that. Sean did it. But we're going to see if it's going to work. You know what I'm saying? And if you had anything to say about it, you don't want none of that to work. And I'm not knocking you for that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to, yo. Only thing I got to say is the feds want Diddy so bad, they try anything they can to get him. So they let in the interview, which I predicted a while back, the internet the feds are going to let the internet try to vilify Sean P. Diddy Combs, try to get him to break in one way or the other. He might take a vacation from the rap game, this and that, this and that. You know, Sean got his own thing going, going on in this business. You know what I'm saying? So they're trying to rock that. They're trying to shake that. They're trying to, you know what I'm saying, divide and conquer. They're trying to make somebody angry enough where somebody didn't want to do something to him. But somebody wants Sean Combs. Hit that like and subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's do it, y'all. The Nard is he will definitely be back. Peace. Rest in peace, Tupac. Rest in peace, Biggie Smalls.